So you might be surprised, but your skin can show you early signs that your kidneys are failing. In this video, I'll cover seven of the key signs to look out for with example photographs. We'll explore why you might get these rashes, how to spot them, and near the end, I'll go through exactly what I look for when I see patients with some of these signs. And if you're new here, my name is Dr. Khalid. I'm a family doctor from sunny London. Let's dive straight in. There's this really common misconception that most people have about kidney disease, and you might have this too. Think of your kidneys as a filtering system for your body. It sifts through lots of blood and ditches out waste, toxins, and extra fluid. It even helps regulate your blood pressure, boosting some cell production, and keeping your bones healthy. And when our kidneys are not working at their optimum, then the function of the kidney drops and it's known as chronic kidney disease. Now, most people, when they hear the word chronic, they picture dialysis, they think about kidneys failing, but that might not be the case for most people. You see, chronic kidney disease is a spectrum from the very mild end to the severe end where people may need dialysis. Now, if you look at the kidney function of anybody in their 80s, they're gonna have some mild derangement of their kidney function. People who often see the word chronic, they think lifelong, severe, and it does sound quite scary, but it doesn't necessarily mean severity. You see, things in life can be chronic and they could be okay, like arthritis, like acid reflux, and marriages. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you here is if you've just been diagnosed with CKD, chronic kidney disease, or you worry that you might have it, the important part is knowing which stage you are at because the mild form, well, you could certainly do things about it in terms of your day-to-day -day life that can stop it from getting to the severe end. Okay, so now let's dive into the skin size. The very first one is dry skin. You see, when you have kidney disease, you may notice that your skin feels rougher, sometimes scaly. You may notice cracks, which can make it feel tight and uncomfortable. Dry skin and kidney disease can be a common feature and often it's related to an imbalance in hydration so you're a bit dehydrated as well as some of the minerals that our skin needs that we may not be able to keep when we have kidney problems there are lots of causes of dry skin like eczema so on its own it doesn't necessarily mean you have kidney issues but if you have some of the next few symptoms that i'll be going through then it's worth getting checked out Number two is fluid retention, and we see this in kidney disease because kidneys play a vital role in the balancing part of your body's fluid and salt system. It does this by filtering waste from your blood out and kicking out lots of the extra water in your urine if you don't need it. It also kind of does this in an autopilot mode in the background. Have you noticed on a day where you are drinking well that your urine is kind of pale, yellow kind of color? But when, say, you've been doing lots of activities, sports, or you're dehydrated, it's more of a darker yellow color. Well, when the kidneys are damaged or they're not functioning properly, they may not be able to remove enough of the fluid, leading to a buildup of fluid in your body. This excess or extra fluid can cause swelling around your eyes, so you can get puffiness around the eyes. It can go down to your legs, so you can get puffiness in your lower legs, your calves, your ankles, your feet. It tends to go there because of gravity. As you know, gravity will pull it throughout the day as you are up and about and walking. Number three is itchy skin. Now, an itch all over your body can be a common symptom of chronic kidney disease, especially if your kidneys are getting worse. The toxins that build up irritate the skin, causing inflammation, and it can also disturb the nerves. And remember, these toxins are kind of getting built up because you're not able to filter them out. Now, does everybody with an itch have a kidney problem? Absolutely not. People have other skin problems like eczema, psoriasis, which can cause an itch. Often with those, you'll see well and clear demarcated patchy areas and the itch is often kind of confined to those areas. Whereas with kidney disease, the itch can be all over the body because those toxins that are not being filtered out aren't really accumulating or building up in one area they're kind of all over your body. So if you have an itch without a rash, without a real cause, then you should get that checked out. Number four are changes in the color of your skin. You see, with chronic kidney disease, you start to get changes in the color of your skin depending on what's going on inside the body. The very first one is that you can look a little bit more pale. Now, most people know that when you look pale, it could be related to anemia, and that is the case in this one. The key thing here is when you have chronic kidney disease, your kidneys aren't producing 
enough of a hormone called EPO, which stimulates the production of red blood cells. So if you're not getting enough EPO, you're not getting enough red blood cells and your blood count drops, you become anemic. And people who are anemic, they may look pale, they may get dizzy and feel short of breath as well. And the next change in skin that can happen is something called hyperpigmentation, where your skin can look darker, and obviously this depends on what your natural color of your skin is, but if you notice that there is a gradual darkening of your skin, then your kidneys could be the culprit here. We don't know for sure what the cause for this is, but there are a few theories that are floating about. One of them is a hormonal imbalance, which causes a buildup of melanin in your skin, and we know melanin building up can cause dark features. Number five is a change in your nails, and this one is called half and half nails, also known as Lindsay nails. It's not quite clear why we get this change, but it's thought that there is a disruption in the blood supply of the nail, in addition to that chronic anemia, which we talked about in chronic kidney disease, which can give you a distinct lighter part of the nail, and then also a darker half as well. So on to number six. So if you notice these cramping or severe contractions of your muscles or your calves, and the skin is kind of dimpling, this could be down to an electrolyte imbalance. So what are electrolytes? These are minerals in our body that help our nerves and muscles work properly. And if you have an imbalance due to your kidneys not working, then the muscles don't contract properly. This results in cramps and muscles getting pulled, and uh, while cramps themselves can be normal, if you get them occasionally, say you've done a lot of exercise, if you get cramps for no reason all of the time, then it could be this electrolyte imbalance. On to number seven, which is our final one. These are calcium deposits, white little spots around the skin, and they could be around joints as well. Often they occur because the kidneys are failing to regulate your calcium levels properly. So that extra calcium begins to build up in your tissue, in your joints, in your skin, and these deposits can be uh, quite painful as well. They're hard and chalk-like substance, so they're a little bit lumpy and some discomfort when you move that joint. So now that you know what skin signs to look out for, what can you do if you have chronic kidney disease? Well, apart from the usual kind of advice that doctors give, which is live a healthy lifestyle, do exercise, don't live a sedentary life, get enough sleep, there are some key things that you can specifically do. Number one, which I tell all my patients with kidney disease, is be very wary of anti-inflammatory medications, things like ibuprofen, so non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. I'll tell you a case not so long ago, let's uh, call this lady Barbara, who was in her 70s. She um, had a flare-up of her arthritis in her hand. She was a very keen gardener, liked to get out there in the summer, and it was a, you know, a really good hobby of hers, and we were just getting into the summer months. Now, she had CKD, mild, and in the background for years, very stable blood, but she was also starting to take ibuprofen for her joint pains. And soon enough, within a few weeks, she started to feel more tired, more lethargic, a bit unwell, and when we checked her blood function, her kidney function had dropped significantly. You see, with kidney disease, you have to be very careful with medications you take, and even some over-the-counter medications, but certainly, any time you're started on antibiotics or any medications, tell the doctor about your kidneys, because they may need to give you a kidney-friendly dose. With Barbara's case, we stopped her ibuprofen and got her drinking more water and her kidney function actually improved. And so the key is also to be well hydrated. Drinking plenty of water flushes the kidneys out and hydrates it, makes it work better. But also make sure your blood pressure is not in a high range because uncontrolled high blood pressure is one of the leading causes of kidney problems. So click on this next video in which I talk about what is a safe range for blood pressure. Stay healthy and see you on the next video.